And we switched. I switched. No! Let me ask you, hand me the machete, and you're hand me the knife. Just... At least there's no Transformers. Wow. Just, just, I can't deal with it. What is with you and my Transformers? They suck. Oh, hey guys, <laughs> I'm back from outer space. He's been gone, you've been gone for a little while. I've been gone for a little bit, uh, some life happened, but now I'm back to toy collecting, um, a little behind the scenes when baby Huey came in, there was a pile of boxes about as tall as I am with uh, some swag that I picked up this week. The FedEx and UPS drivers hate me. Actually, shout out to my UPS driver. <laughs> um, I have the cameras and I was stuck in traffic. And he actually left his cell phone number here for me. I texted him when I got home and he met me around the corner uh, to give me the package that we're going to open next. What, because he saw you had the ri- your... So I rang, so I talked to him. Okay. And I was like, hey man, traffic's <laughs> terrible. He's like, yeah, I know. He's like, I'll be in the area for 25 minutes. Text me. It took me about 35 minutes. And he was still right around the corner, so we met up. and oh, get, uh, get the ring camera doorbells. <laughs> he asked for my opinion on some Marvel movies, and that was his payment, I think, for going there. Nice. Um, but we're talk, about to talk <clears throat> DC. A little bit. And the one cool thing, I've been looking at this box set for a couple weeks now. Um, it's been at Target. It's the Funko Deluxe Collector's Box, and they had one for Aquaman all holidays, still there. And they also had one for Batman and the Penguin, uh, Adam West type. Uh, that's still there. And I was like, I don't know. It's, but we're, they're not too expensive. I think they were like, what, 25 bucks? 25 bucks. Yep. You get a pop, you get a uh, vinyl collectible, you get some cards, you get a few other things. <clears throat> um, it's all on the back. And I didn't realize you actually get an enamel pin with this. Oh, really? Which they been coming back in style. I know uh, Disneyland is huge for like the pin collectors. And- uh, actually, yeah. Uh, actually, tomorrow, uh, Disney's been doing these new releases for like uh, coffee mugs and stuff every month. Uh, last year with Mickey's 90th birthday, they did a different mug every month for you know the generations that he's been around. And <clears throat> with the releases, you get a there's a mug. There's usually a plush animal, and then also a pin set. So. I just realized the other day my pin set's been getting huge. I've got pins from comic trips, uh, the Corpse Crew. I've got pins. I got the Ninja Turtle pins from uh, one of those monthly box. I uh, get your Power Ranger pin. My from, Power Ranger pin. From when we went to go meet um, uh, <laughs> uh, Becky G. The, the Pink <laughs> Ranger. A Yellow Ranger. Yellow Ranger. Whatever. I kind of froze up one, but <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> if you ever want to hear that story, just put it in uh, the comments. I'll tell you how Baby Huey embarrassed himself. So let's get I, to I the did. box. One thing I'll say is the packaging is pretty cool on this. The Bombshells line, as you know, is kind of doing that pinup style mm-hmm. for the DC. It's, and it's taken, like, it's been amazing lately. Like, everything, every D- thing that DC does, they're making DC Bombshells. They're doing um, the DC Collectibles line of it has DC, uh, DC Bombshells. They're doing pops of DC Bombshells. Uh, they're doing you know, this little box set. I mean, anything you can think of, DC's going to put out this bombshell stuff. So before we open it, there's one thing that did bother me about these boxes. What's that? You know exactly what's in them. That is true. So it's not a mystery box. It's not a mystery box, and there's not much variety. Like, this is the only DC bombshells box, so you got this. There wasn't multiple ones. So if you didn't like right. the characters, oh well. Right. But on the back, you'll see it gives you the Batman pop. The sugar pop vinyl, the pin, and kind of picture of everything. And the cards. Yep. Uh, I would have preferred if it didn't tell you one of the things. Like, you had a chance to get one of three pops. Throw some mystery type thing in there, which would, would have been nice. Which might get me to buy more than one. Correct. But let's open this up. Hmm. See, I always need like playing with smaller knives. <laughs> well, I'm just so tempted to stab you with the machete. <laughs> That I, uh, I went with the, uh, the kitchen knife. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'll open this like it's not Christmas. I open all my packages like 
one seam at a time. <laughs> All, right. All right. So first thing Ooh. I notice, everything's packaged inside here. That's very nice. So packaged. an unboxing oh. within an unboxing. So the pin. You got a good shot of that. We'll see. I'm just gonna sit here. How you doing, baby Huey? We're get, we're getting to know each other real well. Is that your what's on my leg? <laughs> so it's the Bombshells logo. How you a little doing? cellophane. Uh, and it has a little safety backer on the back of it. Is that a hard is that a rubbery backing it's a, or it's a rubbery stopper. Okay. But the pin itself is a nice enamel. Right. Cards, do you want to open them? I will open the cards. Oh, nice, and the cards actually have a nice little slit here, so you can actually just open them up. What else you got in there? A notebook, which we didn't even read. There's a notebook in there? Yeah, there's a, a nice yeah. nice notebook. Is it the notebook? No. Better not be. That's Mashka's move, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch the notebook? The notebook? The notebook. How many times does that work, Mashka? Never. <laughs> What I figured. Actually, no, we won't. <laughs> um, all right, the uh, cards. Uh, if you can get on the side camera right here, you can try. Keep flipping. There you go. There you go. So they come with. Uh, you got four regular standard cards here, and they're really flimsy. So that's a little disappointing. But then you also get this one here of. Uh, Batgirl. So it's a, fo it's a foiled card. But foiled again, Batman. Foiled again. That's not bad. So you got, you got Batgirl here. You got Batwoman. Uh, Harley these, Quinn. These are flimsy. Uh -huh. Poison Ivy and Wonder Woman. Funko. You pay attention to so many other details, but this is like a piece of paper. It is. Like, it's hard paper. This is not a, a collectible card. Um, I believe cards in the 30s were of better quality than this. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm done with that. Give that to my niece, probably. Moving on to the good stuff. A little tissue paper. A little tissue paper. All right. Nice. Rock candy. What's the rock candy line, you ask? What's the rock candy line? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I miss Dave. Um... <laughs> It is their, kind of like the Vinyl Idols line that we saw from some of the other. Okay. Uh, it's more of a stylized figurine uh, that isn't as out of proportion as the Pops are. So Rock Candy, you know. It's more of, at least a more proportionate to actually how someone should actually look. And just slightly big head syndrome. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. A <laughs> um, little animated, but mm -hmm. that's good packaging on this. Window box, only at Target. <clears throat> and I, I love that they want with Black Canary and have her singing. That's that's yeah. perfect. Now, I like... I didn't see this. If you look on the side... I'm going to really screw with Moshko and go over here. You've got the different pictures of Canary and the silhouettes and, and all that. I mean, it looks pretty cool. This box is... Fungo knows what they're doing with boxes. Like, their packaging looks good. This... I mean, the foil on the front there, it's definitely not <clears throat> cheap like the playing cards. <laughs> Let's pop this open in our collector-friendly box. <clears throat> nice. Always love the uh, collector-friendly boxes. We did run into the first Funko non-collector-friendly box today. They're five-star line. Oh, yes. They are, have little <clears throat> rubber bands holding them in. You're and absolutely once right. you pop that out... Oh, pop. Mm. All right. <clears throat> so, this is probably four inch, four and a half inch figurine. It is a hard plastic. So, when you have pops normally, they've got that softer feel when they're hollow. This feels like it's a solid piece of plastic. I don't know if you can hear the tap. It's got some pretty good weight to it on that. However... If any warping happens, I don't know how well it would stand if she didn't have this mic stand there. So there's a little bit of wobble to it, and it's a little back heavy. Notice if I just tap it a little bit, it almost falls over. But the detail 
We've got painted on detail for the fishnets, which is a must if you are a Black Canary character. You have to have the fishnets. Hairstyle looks good. The paint application on this is great. I don't know if you can see the gloves on the mic stand. It just, everything looks good. And then the makeup application really has that, that time period, that kind of jazz singer feel to it. Overall, <clears throat> cool little figurine. Um, this would probably look good like on a desk. I yes. guess when I buy collectibles now, you got to think, where am I going to display them? Because I'm going to have more than one. You never go, oh, I'm just gonna <clears> and you're also this. running out of room in your office. So Yeah, the office. <laughs> I need a bigger boat. Um, but this I can see like somebody who has a favorite character <clears> buying <throat> them, putting up their desk, their work yep. workspace, going from there. Um, I don't know how much this would be by itself, but for 25 bucks, you figure... Ten, ten, five dollars for the it's other. Probably, it's probably ten, between ten and fifteen dollars just for everything. I mean, for both pops. It's so. a decent line. <clears throat> I would say uh, go buy some. <laughs> but um, I am Mr. Mauer. I can look at the other. Fireside chats. Oh wait, we got one more. And one more thing here. You're trying to speed okay. out of this. I am trying to speed out of this. <clears throat> we had the best one yet. Because I was going to keep it completely sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that tissue paper? Yeah. So, for those of you that are new to the show, up until, what would you say, the past two years or so? Yeah. I never <laughs> opened a single toy. Yeah. I would buy three of everything to open some of them, and they still wouldn't get opened. So this opening... It's tissue paper. Just rip it off. <laughs> really bothers me. Draw your eyes. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> right on me. <laughs> uh, so this is your Pop Heroes line. It's also got your standard box, but it's for the bombshells, which is kind of in that same vein as the Marvel Noir. Yes. Only not as dark. Kind of campy noir, if you will. I really like the style of this, of this Bruce Wayne. This Batman mm -hmm. noir... We'll go right next to my Spider-Man Noir, mm -hmm. and it's going to look awesome. Um, in this line, we had Batwoman, Supergirl, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Hawkgirl. Got love Hawkgirl. <laughs> are there any Hawkgirl fans out there? I'm sure there are. There has to be at least one, right? Just one? Just, just, just one. All right, whatever. Um, only at Target again. <clears throat> And let's pop this guy out. Yeah, let's open it, Mauer. <clears throat> you should see how I read comics. He's, he puts, like, white gloves on. He cleans everything. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you read most of them digital now. So. Yeah, when I read the when I read them, the, they never open more than, like, a 20-degree a angle. That spine's going to get Can't crack the spine. Yep. First thing I'm going to say is super dope detail That's awesome. on the vest. Hold it up nice and close so we can see that. That is So he's got almost awesome. like a bulletproof vest thing going on. <clears throat> Very tactical. The colors in the hat, you know, the two tones of blue, you know, kind of muted. Uh, he's wear, uh, using the grappling gun type uh, gas, what is that, That's steampunk it. type right. grappling gun. It has a, a really cool look to it. I would love to see a comic or movie based on this line. Hmm. And there's as many movies that DC does. I'm surprised they haven't done a bombshell line movie yet. DC characters meet the Rocketeer is what this feels like. Ooh, yeah. You're right. This the lighter color blue on this this uh, darker blue, like the gloves. The gloves pop. And no pun intended. Uh, the gloves pop on him. All right. So let's so. put them down. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about what you're getting here. So you're getting a pop. You're getting the detail that they put everything into it. The belt, the way that they made it look like the trench coat with the cape. Mm -hmm. It's just freaking awesome. I mean, you get the laces on the shoes. I mean, geez. There are some action figure <laughs> lines that could use some help in sculpting. <laughs> Funko could really swell them. If Funko started making 
action figure action figures. They might be going that way because you know I think they're testing the waters with these uh, the Disney Afternoon toys and some of these other ones that they've been coming yeah, out like with the five star. Right, and... I think they're testing the waters to see how they could do. And I think the next year or two they might be like full blown into the whole retail with the action figures. Moshko, I might buy another <clears> one of these <throat> and have you give me the classic black and yellow variant. <laughs> The Moscow variant. The Moscow variant. So, yeah. licensing the deal with that. But yeah, you know what? I'm happy that I spent the $25 on that. <clears throat> I almost said no. We were looking at it. I was like, meh. You were. Dude. But <laughs> but I bought it. Maybe Huey twisted my arm to spend some money. I did. Um, as always, I'm Mr. Mauer. I'm Baby Huey. We are your hosts from both Fireside Chats and Toying Around. Check us out on welcometofireside.com. Hopefully in the next five minutes, it'll appear here. Five minutes? <laughs> Come on, Dave, isn't that bad? <laughs> um, or the OG Podcast Network at ogpodcastnetwork.com. Now, I know Moshko collectibles can get certain pops in, not these because they're Target exclusives. Um, but if you ever have a toy that you think you might want, just send him an email. Go to his website, moshkocollectibles.com, and hit him up. I'm sure he'll be able to hunt something down for you. Uh, don't forget our YouTube page that's toying around live on YouTube. That's where you'll see this video in its entirety, as well as the little segments. Mm -hmm. We've got our Facebook page for Fireside. It's Facebook, Welcome to Fireside. Pretty much everywhere, so get all the social media on that. Um, toying around, <laughs> drop the G, give it to OG on Twitter. Is that going to be the phrase now? Yeah. Um, and then toying around everywhere else on Instagram or any other social medias. There are, but we're not. All we're not on. Them. <laughs> Listen, I'm even on Instagram to be truthful. You have it, but you know. Um, that's Mrs. Mauer doing the posting. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be back. We've got the piece de resistance in just a few minutes. I'm gonna have you watch our awesome little animation, <laughs> and I'm gonna beat up Baby Huey a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. wait.